He's yep, really come on well for him. Junior last defensive week. tackle, uh, uh, latter part of this season, he's improved and really playing well right now, and and has an understanding of what we expect him to do up front in the defensive line. Well, Griffin's not doing a, a whole lot real fancy right now, just really trying to come right at us. They did try to throw it uh, a pretty good bit, was successful at times. Here they shift around again, and I think we had some movement before the snap, and they they ran into that two or three times during the night with the uh, flags being thrown for the illegal motion, and, and it really hurt them. We had a few penalties, too, that kind of slowed our offense down, uh, uh, a clipping and a holding, and it moved us back every time we felt like we had something going. So, uh, And it's fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. And their punter really did a good job all night because uh, he was in some pretty bad situations. The one we saw earlier where it was over his head and he got it off. And he did a pretty good job of punting, but as did Julian Black. Julian did a good job of kicking the ball. They, uh, uh, under the conditions, as you can see right there, didn't get a good piece of that one, but uh, yardage is hard to come by in this kind of ball game, so anytime you can get the punt off, you're doing well. Well, I think as you can <coughs> see from the first half, both teams just kind of sparring with each other, waiting for the other one to make a mistake. Of course, we had the better field position in the first half, but you're still playing on the worst end of the field. And here's an example of Duran Brewer being able to to turn that corner and he's a good mutter. He is. It's surprising as quick as he is that he still had the balance and control and was able to cut and move without slipping down and I think it's probably got a low center of gravity. It may have helped, it, helped him there. And here's uh, Roy Lee Moss on one of his many carries uh, up the middle and had a, I think he had 27 yards at halftime which is not bad on being on a field like, uh, like we played on. I think he wound up uh, carrying the ball about 20 some odd times, uh, Mike, and uh, rush for 101 yards. So, uh, Roy Lee was our was our offense. As Deshaun Cameron had over 100 yards rushing, but 70 or 63 of that came on one play. And you saw Ramon Allen. And Ramon's, uh, you know, a little bit faster. And you saw the problem he had cutting. He really had problems all night trying to tall, cut. long legged, high hips, and uh, just wasn't able to get his feet moving. Um, being high off the ground, it was a little bit tough on him. Here's a couple, here's a series I was talking about, Michael, Flags. we had a couple of penalties that every time we'd kind of turn the corner, we'd have to walk back. And uh, that really hurts, it really does, when you got something going on a wet field especially. It can really take you out of uh, a field position as well as uh, hurt your drive. We had a good drive going, it like we were going to really make something happen. And that's the exact play that Deshaun Cameron in overtime uh, scores on late in the ball game. Great Quarter, play. Quarterback sneak with Chuck Mayfield leading the way and Donald Walton and Todd Dowell on either side. Rick Perry, I believe, was in the ball game at guard on that play. Here's Roy Lee. And, you know, he, he just, came out every it. time we give him the ball, he gets a little bit better at, at, uh, at uh, breaking a tackle or two and moving forward. So he's gaining some confidence. And as you'll see in the ball game, he, we just continue to give him the football. Well, you know, uh, Roy mm -hmm. Lee seems to be uh, the top youngster, he just loves to play against Newman and Griffin. That seems to be his two his two games. He's a steady performer, but he really seems to turn it up a notch when he plays Newman and Griffin. He does, as do probably all of our players. Good pressure by Noon, uh, Griffin right there uh, on Julian. He got the ball off and got it down, pinned him up again. I, how many players did you play? <coughs> you played a good good number of players, didn't you, Coach, to keep well, us? Well, we, uh, we played... Uh, I'm trying to think defensively. We probably played two or three uh, substitutes, not that many really. And uh, offensively, we probably played uh, probably three or four offensive linemen that roll in there, and uh, Grover Cox at receiver. So uh, two, two youngsters uh, I want to comment on, Coach. One right there, Davenport. Did us. Alvin Davenport, I thought, played extremely well for you. And also, Jimmy McCamey went down early in the game. I think he re-aggravated a knee or turned a, an ankle. ankle. And Trey Baldwin came in, and I thought did a very commendable job uh, for you in that secondary. But those two youngsters really played the fine football for you uh, on Saturday night. Jimmy had a good ball game, had a breakup, and uh, knocked down, made a couple of tackles. Uh, Trey Baldwin had to come in and play for Jimmy when, when his ankle was uh, bothering him uh, as he turned it there in the first quarter. So Trey Baldwin's really the only guy we got going both ways. And, and uh, really, he's coming through when, when we need to have him, both offensively and defensively. And he's a, at a wide out on the offensive side. Right. <clears throat> Just exchanging punts right here is nothing real 
real fancy or real exciting about this kind of ball other than the intensity and the rivalry and, and just the competitiveness of the two teams. Well, you really had to be there to really appreciate what was taking place. And uh, you can see here, this was a good play. I thought Ramon Allen came in motion to his right and circled back left, and we pitched it to him, got him around the corner, and he almost broke it. And that was one of the longer runs of the night outside of the uh, pass play by Griffin and the run by Deshaun Campbell. All right. Uh, Griffin defensively, linebackers would overreact to our motion. So to offset that, we came with a little half motion and then sent him back the other way. And as the linebackers overreacted, uh, it, it allowed us to come up with a big play back to the backside. And we were starting to drive and got thrown for a loss. And here, just, I think, just underthrows it just a little slightly bit. Slightly underthrown. Good defensive play, but Trey was open and, and the ball was just slightly underthrown. There's nothing to be said there. Good play by the Griffin defender on the interception. Here again, I think a lot of that, uh, both quarterbacks going back to throw, trying to plant that back foot to throw was kind of tough to get a good good place to plant it with all that. Well, you just never really there. had confidence in, in any kind of footing at all. You just, in the back of their mind, I'm sure they felt like they were about to slip. A good pass, good completion right there as they run a little crossing route with us in man coverage and, and kind of picked and screened off the defensive back to the outside and, and he broke clean, broke open across the middle. Well, you can see Broderick Allen with the confidence and the intensity that he's playing with as a quarterback. And they give to the, I think it's maybe Lomax, the running back. And I think he was probably healthy for the first time, really, this season. Uh, the last three or four games, he's been, been healthy. But last time we played him, he was just coming off, of, I think, an injury he got early in the year. Right, I think it was a toe injury of some type that just didn't allow him to get any push or anything off that, the foot that was injured. And... Uh, uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, definitely, he looked better and looked like uh, they anticipated him playing all year. Well, they got another first down on that play. They had a pretty good drive going right here, and then we uh, stiffened up defensively and were able to, of course, uh, shut them down. They were eventually had to punt back to us. Julian Blackman uh, on the tackle right there, Mike. He's the heart and soul of the center of that defensive line, and, and he's just always solid and playing his responsibility and doing what he's supposed to do. And, and makes the play when they try to attack him or try to pick on him. And you'll see Julian later on make a big quarterback sack for us. Well, you know, the two youngsters uh, that's, that's come in and played real well for you, of course, Alvin Davenport, or we mentioned, and Bryant Truitt, who I think has played some good football. Bryant Truitt has really year. played well this year in the last few ball games and has done a good job also. Uh, and we stop them here and they have to punt the ball. Again, their punter does, does a good job. Uh, handling the punt, uh, as both punters did. Uh, you really had to see the field, and they faked here. That's right, they did fake the punt and went for the uh, first down. And, and got they the got first it. down, yeah. And kept their uh, kept the drive alive. And they bring the chains in, of course, so they got it by about the uh, length of the football. So they'll keep possession. And it's first and 10, Griffin. And we're winding down pretty much here, I think, in the, in the first half of play. The latter part of the first half, uh, they, they went for that fake uh, punt and, and got the first down, which concerned me right there. Is I was afraid they were going to get close enough to get points, which would really give them a morale booster. Flea flicker. Flea flicker. Trey Baldwin played number 30 on a flea flicker, and Brian Truitt uh, caused the fumble. We get a timeout real quick. Trey Baldwin recovered the fumble. Brian Truitt caused it. Good heads up play by those two players and we got four seconds and we thought we would have a shot to do something. One play and uh, Derwin Brewer really looks good on this one play and just you just don't know how close we were to breaking it as you watch the blockers out in front. Blue jerseys, there's four of them. He could have done yeah, little cut, cut right there and uh, the backside pursuit just ran him down. Yeah, he played an uh, extremely good football game, Coach. I thought he was probably your best runner as far as your mothers were concerned. That's really right. Know. He's probably the, he played well. the only person we had that uh, had some quickness that could use it. And I think this <clears> is the <throat> beginning of the second half as the team captains come out. Jerry Smith, Roy Lee Moss for LaGrange, and of course uh, Broderick Allen for Griffin. And Broderick Allen is a big youngster. He's about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and he can stand back in that pocket and just really pick his receivers out extremely well. He could. He threw the ball, and that's really something that they haven't done well this year is pass the football. But he threw the ball very well, as you're going to see in the second half of this film here. And in the second half, uh, they receive, <coughs> uh, again, as we'll kick off to them, and uh, we'll be defending the, the north goal again, and they'll defend the south goal. And the south end, the scoreboard end of the stadium, 
is, uh, was the worst in, I think, as far as the footing was concerned, as we talked about earlier in the first half. But you're going to see a, a great, great half of football.